Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. Please, please, please sign up for that newsletter so you don't miss a beat. Okay, we don't put everything up there, but you get the idea. I got some write-ups, got some events coming up, and uh, and all kinds of fun stuff. So, anyways, uh, this is the show where we're talking about uh, creating things, content marketing, the whole deal. And I want to talk about execution today. Execution. Now, this is something I've been thinking about a lot lately on two different fronts. Well, first of all, um, I've been very concerned lately about execution. Um, I feel like... Uh, I I don't know if I'm missing a beat on it or not. Uh, I I'm okay. Let's let's backtrack this a little bit. Of course, uh, as some longtime listeners may know, I kind of came from the jobby job atmosphere and uh, made the switch in early 2011, late 2010, something like that. And uh, a few of the motivation, motivating factors, motivating books, motivating conversations uh, include uh, I never eat alone. Include uh, the the, the Seth Godin linchpins and the uh, Gary Vaynerchuk crushits of the world, and uh, you know, as I went along, like these are these are things that are still in the back of my head for a lot of this. Uh, things that are still, uh, you know, a lot of the motivating factors, right? Uh, so to the point where I have a little note, and I look at my schedule every week and say, it, do, "Am I having lunch with anybody?" Um, Maybe not every day, uh, but I still try to make sure I'm having a coffee with somebody, having a lunch with somebody, just to keep the gears turning, just to keep it kind of fresh. And, uh, you know, again, you know, that's how relationships are are, are born, are, are secured, how ideas come out. Something that have gone on, have gone on for a while, like like Sawtooth Willie or some of these uh, creative videos that we've done at the beginning of the year, the ones around with Yik Yak, and other ideas that turn into jobs have come from a lunch or a meeting or or a networking event or just an event where I ran to a guy that did a thing that knows about my podcast. Those have turned into things that pay the bills for one thing and just creative things and creative outlets and it keeps you fresh and also maybe refreshes. Maybe I'm, I'm meeting with my friend that's doing a lot of uh, Facebook marketing um, and, 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 and social media there or my friend that's doing a lot of photography and video and creative work over here in this space and, and, and trying to gleam as much as I can and help out other people while I'm at it too uh, and just to have a tighter hold. Now, my concern has been that I feel like I've been uh, putting so much behind making sure I'm meeting and talking with people. I'm worried about what's coming out of it. I'm worried about, okay, we're meeting up to do X, and how much are we talking about things and not executing on them? We have a lot of great ideas that we didn't get to. And I think a lot of people have a lot of great ideas that they didn't, didn't get to. Maybe they have a rousing talk over cheese sticks at Eden Park. Maybe they have a rousing talk over a beer uh, down in the Strip District. Whatever the case may be, did you enact on that? Now, I feel like I've been enacting a bit. Um, I mean, and somebody just asked about having lunch in my periscope. <laughs> Email me about that. We'll see if we can get that lined up. I think I have coffee that afternoon. See, here's my problem. But anyways... <laughs> um, so with that, uh, so you take, you know, a lot of these ideas, a lot of this, but but are you enacting after that? You know, there was even the part about getting to the coffee, you know, going to somebody and say, hey, we should have uh, coffee sometime. Um, it doesn't even happen until you're like, OK, I'm putting it on my calendar or I'm sending you an email so we can follow up because that's just going to float in the air. And it's happened to me several times. I'm going back to my email and finding threads of people that I was like, oh, yeah, we'll do coffee. I'm like, cool, how about next Thursday? Don't hear anything. It's out in the air, and you never connect with that person. And and that's where the follow-up is important, You know, much like a job interview. You need to follow up so they see you're still there. Hello. And a lot of those are turned into, you know, through you know, whatever scheduling into those. And, and, and sometimes people that were videographers, you know, that have, that have come to work with me, other projects that have come and just other creative things and just ideas and, 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 and growing and everything. Uh, but again, just like you need to follow up on the person to get that time, to get that coffee, to get that lunch, to, to connect with that person one-on-one, you also need to make a point to follow up afterwards. Uh, had a great talk with somebody uh, uh, about a month ago and probably my fault for not following up afterwards, we came up with a lot of ideas even while we were recording a podcast about things that we could do. And I don't think there's been any movement on either of those items because we just 
one, I think I need to listen back to the podcast and try to figure out what are all the good ideas that we came up with because I'm too busy recording and, and engineering a podcast while talking and coming up with these ideas. Uh, so that's one that aspect I need to do. But there's also the side of, you know, again, one of these often conversations, um, I've, I've, if you look at some old blog posts of mine over at Sorgatron.com, you can do a search for uh, my friends are superstars. And I talk about that a lot. Maybe not enough. Maybe I haven't come back to that. Maybe that should be a whole other uh, episode this week. But I'm talking with my friends that I know are talented, that I want to be able, I want them to do something creative because I know they're not finding fulfillment in their day job or whatever the heck else is going on in their lives. And they have the talent, the humor, whatever it is. And there's always that disconnect between, I want to do this thing. One day I'm going to do this thing. And it's like, well, why haven't you done it yet? what what's standing in your way of getting that thing done and even that first step of well i'm going to start a podcast cool did you start the podcast yet you know oh well this this and the other thing or i i got this going on i was like cool well okay well what do you need to solve to get that thing out of the way get that um whether it's i don't have a quiet place to do my podcast i don't have a place to do my let's play because it's in the living room and i don't live alone because whatever the living situation is okay what do you need to do to make that happen you know and is that something that you're that passionate to get that thing done you're going to get it done no matter what you know if that thing's standing in your way and that's the thing you want to do you're just going to continue to let that stand in your way and feel bad about that because you're not getting to it and it's a thing that you want to get to. Or maybe it's something else that you need to find that you're more passionate about that is not going to let you let anything get in the way of it. Um, I've, I've, I've kind of set the example here with uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show that's grown into this empire and jobs and opportunities. Uh, I determined at some point, well, this is a thing I'm going to do. And this is the thing I'm going to do this way. And that means I'm going to do it every Tuesday night. And I'm going to edit it every Tuesday night so everybody has that in their iTunes feed in the morning. And I'm going to be tired every Wednesday. Maybe not a healthy decision, but it was a determination that I'm going to do this. Every week when we get to these Monday nights and I do my raw wrap-up and my basic ergonomics, and then we go into I have to do work on Tuesday and then stay up to do and then edit the uh, the podcast, I made that determination. I sit there on Sunday night looking at my client on Monday. I'm going to have to watch Raw, try to relax during it a little bit, yet tweet, do the shows, and then go to work and do this. And, and basically knowing I'm not going to have a peace of mind downtime really until... Wednesday evening because I have to do all the cleanup from that or even this week I got some very extra special stuff happening Wednesday on top of all those other things so that's a very determined well here we go thankfully it's not a thing that I don't want to do uh, so that helps but it's still a thing that somebody can easily look at and be like it's too much work and what am I getting out of it I know exactly what I'm getting out of Maybe it's not a monetary thing. Monetary? Monetary? Monetarily? Pick one. Maybe it's not that, but it's a thing that I'm passionate about, and it's a thing that's going to happen, and it's a thing that I'm making friends, connections, conversations, idea-making, and satisfying an itch even to that regard, or at least putting something in practice that I'm hoping people will think that I'm important enough to teach them how to do, so maybe I can pay my mortgage. That's what it boils down to. And uh, for the longest time, I did something to that vein without the monetary carrot at the end. It's really a, I've been doing a thing that's passionate, I'm passionate about for all this time. And I wasn't going to let anything to get in the way. And even if it didn't turn into what is basically my business from day to day, I was still going to do it. Even if I just had an office job. And that was the original determination. This is the thing I do. Because I have an office job. Because I'm not fulfilled there. And now, it's just a piece of a larger puzzle. So, if you sit back, one, figure out what you're not executing on. A lot of great ideas on the board, but did we get it? Get them from beyond that board? Or did we get that uh, microphone in front of your face and start talking into it? 
and you never worry, know where you're going to end up a few years later. Let me know your thoughts, Sorgatron.com, at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on the Periscope. I'm trying to use this a bit more, a little bit more efficiently. Maybe I'll stick around a little bit afterwards. I've been playing with this idea. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'm thinking about potentially doing one episode a week of this that's exclusively we schedule it you guys drop in we do a kind of a qa sort of system and it is what it is um if you like that idea let me know on the twitter at sorgatron and e email me contact form everything sorgatron.com sorgatronmedia.com uh let me know you, you kind of dig that idea would you participate in something like that i don't know what kind of time what kind of regularity i could do it on uh maybe once a month we do it or something you know um and i think it was something we can have a lot of fun with if we can get enough participation uh so let me know about that we'll see you guys next time This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.